Beloved, may the Lord fill your minds and your heart with his peace. Amen. I welcome you all to the second day of our novena. The beginning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The God come to our aid. The Lord make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hallelujah. We pray the act of consecration to the Holy Spirit. On our knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, we offer ourselves, soul and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. We adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of our soul. In you we live and move and have our being. We desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and we pray with all our heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard our every thought and grant that we may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspiration. We cling to you and give ourselves to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over us in our weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds, and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, we implore you, adorable spirit, helper of our infirmity, to keep us in your grace, that we may never sin against you. Give us grace, O Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, your servant, hear it. Beloved, today being the second day, the theme for our novena is the gift of fear. The gift of fear fills us with a sovereign respect for God and makes us dread nothing so much as to offend Him by sin. It is a fear that arises not from the thought of hell, but from sentiment of reverence and filial submission to our Heavenly Father. It is a fear that is the beginning of wisdom, detaching us from worldly pleasures that could in any way separate us from God. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and in His sight will sanctify their souls. Today we take our reflection from Titus chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. And I read, Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us through the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit whom he poured out on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. So the theme of our reflection is salvation through the Holy Spirit. Beloved, as human beings, we were created when God breathed his Spirit into Adam. And we were renewed when Jesus breathed his Spirit into his disciples. This breath is renewed in each of our hearts when we turn back to the Lord and reject what might drag us down. For our prayer today, we ask the Lord to breathe His Spirit into our heart, that we may be rejuvenated and set aglow to do that which He has asked us to do. Together we pray. Come, O blessed Spirit of holy fear, penetrate our inmost heart, that we may set you, our Lord and God, before our face forever. Help us to shun all things that can offend you, and make us worthy to appear before the pure eyes of your divine majesty in heaven, where you live and reign in the unity of the ever-blessed Trinity. God without end. Amen. We take the concluding prayer, which is the prayer for the seven gift of the Holy Spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Then to grant the same Holy Spirit to us, that we may perfect in our soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant us the spirit of wisdom that we may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal the spirit of understanding to enlighten our minds with the light of your divine truth, 
the spirit of counsel that you may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude that we may bear the cross with you and that we may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose our salvation, the spirit of knowledge that we may know God and know ourselves and grow perfect in the signs of the saints, the spirit of piety that we may find the service of God sweet and amiable and the spirit of fear that we may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark us, dear Lord, with a sign of your true disciples and animate in all of us the things with your spirit. Amen. Beloved, the Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a spirit-filled day, favored of Yahweh.